Clarendon Hills and Hinsdale teams. Here are the contemporary books from your spring 2022 Great New Reads list. Prepare yourself for something completely different. This is Ain't Burned All the Bright by Jason Reynolds and illustrated by Jason Griffin. This book is a mashup of art and poetry. It tells the story of a young boy and his family witnessing the tragedies of violence committed against black people in America today. A family living through the pandemic and the violence, the racism, and the protests that we have watched on our television screens over the last few years. This is more than a book. It's a look through a window at one family's experience and it's an incredible work of art. In Indivisible, siblings Mateo and Sophie have always lived in fear of their undocumented parents getting deported back to Mexico. But over the years, that fear faded into the background. Their parents had lived in the United States for years now and ran a small grocery store. However, Mateo's world is rocked one day when he comes home to find out that ICE has taken his parents. Still scared that they will get deported, Mateo and Sophie live with their uncle Jorge and Aunt Amy while their parents await their fate. But Mateo doesn't feel entirely comfortable living under their roof. If only he could tell his best friends Adam and Kimmy about this, but he can't tell them what's going on. Would they even understand? And how would he begin to explain? Indivisible shares the journey of one teenager trying to keep his family together while the world is driving them apart. Mason and Ty are the very best of friends from babies until seventh grade when the new girl Ava arrives and starts at their school. Their friendship ends over a disagreement over her. So five years later, they are still hardly speaking after the incident in middle school. Through a fluke, an accident sends 17-year-old Mason back in time five years to his 12-year-old body and life. Given the opportunity for a do-over, he seeks to right wrongs as well as try new things that maybe could alter the bad things that happened during his middle school years. But can he really change the future by making different choices? The narration alternates between Mason at ages 12 and 17. This is a fun and easy read about friendship filled with humor.